Hi there. So this is a uh, part three of uh, my catalase experiments that I've been doing. Uh, yeah, so just to recap on part one, we were looking at um, different vegetables and trying to understand uh, which ones had more catalase in them uh, by looking at the reaction with hydrogen peroxide. Uh, part two was uh, looking at some fruits. And part three, I thought it would be interesting to look at some different oils. Now, the ones we have here, are uh, fermented cod liver oil. Now I've chosen this because um, they say that uh, liver, well certainly sort of from animals, like um, beef liver for example, has a lot of catalase in it. So, or chicken livers and that, those ones. So I was interested to see if maybe uh, fish livers, uh, cod liver, had, um, and the oil that you get from that has got catalase in it. Um, I had some vegetable oil, uh, which I think is rapeseed in this instance, so I thought I'd just give that a go, just out of interest. I'm not expecting much from that one. Um, then we have some um, olive oil, so I thought I'd give that a go, just to see if we get any reaction with that. And finally, the one I'm actually more interested in is the um, avocado oil. Now, in the last test I did, um, there was a, a pretty big reaction um, when I dropped some avocado in the hydrogen peroxide. So I'm wondering... Um, if we'll get a similar reaction with the oil. Now this stuff um, on the bottle says it's cold pressed so I'm assuming um, that process which happens under 45 degrees shouldn't affect um, any of the enzymes and stuff that, that we would normally get inside the avocado oil. Um, now the reason I'm looking at oils is obviously you know you could use these as a base as um, some kind of um, moisturizer or whatever that you could put on your skin um, if you're looking to try and get uh, some of those benefits. So yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking. So we'll start off with the cod liver oil. Uh, if I, I've got about a one mil sample here in the syringe, so in, I'll squirt that in there, and we'll see if we get any kind of reaction at all. So, no, I'm not seeing much happening there, to be honest. Okay, so we'll leave that, come back to that later. Uh, second one then, we've got some rapeseed oil. Put that in there, and again, not much happening there. Okay, so we'll move on to the olive oil, and again, not much happening there either. Okay, and last but not least, the one I'm actually really interested in is the avocado oil to see if any of those um, uh, enzymes that we saw in the last test actually make it into the oil. So we'll squirt that in there and have a look. And there's not much happening there either. Okay, that's interesting. Right. Um, so yeah, not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, maybe it's the fact that it's uh, an oil. Um, and obviously that's going into hydrogen peroxide. And obviously, you know, as we know, they the, the two don't mix. So I was wondering if we need to put some kind of emulsifier in there that might get the two to mix and then maybe we might see a reaction so I'll have to see if I can find something and see if that does anything but yeah uh, for now based on that um, not much to see really so uh, I think we'll finish there okay cheers <laughs> 